Gilligan's Island aired in 1964, and at the time, five of the seven cast members, Bob Denver, Alan Hale Jr., Natalie Schaefer, Tina Louise, and Jim Backus, were already well-established actors. However, Don Wells, who had made a few small appearances on television after winning the title of Miss Nevada, was a relatively unknown name. Over the next three years, the show made the audiences laugh, but it also made Americans fall in love with the sweet, bubbly girl next door that was Marianne. Though the show's creator had anticipated that Ginger Grant, given her glam goddess avatar and Marilyn Monroe vibes, would eventually become every man's dream, to their surprise, it was Marianne who quickly became everyone's favorite. As it turns out, Don Wells recently addressed her iconic role and what it was like to be lusted after by so many viewers. Facts Verse presents, Don Wells addresses Marianne's sex appeal. Before we settle one of the biggest debates launched by American television, we ask you to take a moment and like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss a video. On September 26, 1964, the first episode of Gilligan's Island aired on CBS. The show revolved around the lives of seven castaways lost on a deserted island. Bob Denver played the titular role of Gilligan, the clumsy and accident-prone first mate of SS Minnow, the boat that wrecked at a deserted island in the Pacific. Alan Hale Jr. played the warm-hearted but irritable skipper. Jim Backus played the role of incredibly rich Mr. Thurston Howell III, and Natalie Schaefer played his wife, Lovely Howell. The cast had two other faces, who launched one of the most prominent debates in television history, Ginger or Marianne. Ginger, played by Tina Louise, was a Hollywood star reminiscent of Marilyn Monroe. She was attractive, glamorous, and most men wouldn't mind paying their life savings to be stuck with her on a deserted island. While Ginger would often use her sexuality to get the castaways out of trouble, she didn't have any of the life skills people need to survive on a deserted island. On the other hand, Marianne, played by Don Wells, who was also Miss Nevada, was the quintessential girl next door. She was chirpy, cute, lovable, sensitive, and caring. The writers based her character on Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and she was certainly the most down-to-earth woman on the island. The last episode of the show aired in 1967, and the show continued in syndication for many years. Gilligan's Island went off the year 53 years ago, and yet both Marianne and Ginger live on. However, over the years, more men have labeled themselves as Marianne guys over Ginger Grant guys. So what is it about the character of Marianne that makes her so lovable? Before we answer this question, we request you like this video and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to stay updated about all our latest videos. Coming back to Marianne's popularity, in an interview, Don Wells shared her opinion on the subject. According to Don, what made Marianne so appealing was that she was the epitome of goodness. She was always cooking, cleaning, and helping people around, and she did all that without making any complaints. More importantly, though she was aware of other people's flaws, she never reacted to them in a bad way. For instance, she knew all about the goof-ups that Gilligan did, but she never lost her temper with him. She wasn't jealous of Ginger and the attention she got. All in all, it was Marianne's innate good-heartedness that made her so popular. Don Wells also thinks one of the reasons why men still find Marianne sexy is because, unlike Ginger, she is attainable. While Ginger was the ultimate beauty queen, her star vibe rendered her unattainable. Moreover, Ginger came across as someone very high-maintenance. If you took her out on a date, nothing less than champagne would do. Marianne, on the other hand, was the woman who looked like she could do both, look pretty, and run a house. She was also the kind of woman men could take home to their mothers. While discussing Marianne's sexual appeal, Don also talked about how the rules regarding the depiction of women on the screen have changed over the years, and the role she played in accentuating Marianne's sex appeal. Back in the 1960s, CBS had a three-second rule, which forbade creators and directors to reveal cleavage or navel for more than three seconds. Thus, when the time came to decide on Marianne's costumes, Don helped the designers design shorts that would cover her navel but make her legs look longer. Pictures of Marianne in these shorts still abound on the internet, and many believe it was these short shorts that gave Marianne the sex appeal that made her desirable to so many young men. The last episode of the show aired in 1967, and though Gilligan's Island enjoyed top ratings, it never entered the annals of television history as an iconic or timeless show. However, the character of Marianne lives on. Don Wells often talks about how popular the show made her. In an interview, she shared a story when she and five of her friends went on a trip to the Solomon Islands, a relatively deserted place. They had gone there expecting no electricity, television, or running water. However, what Don experienced really surprised her. 
As soon as they hit the island, the chief's wife instantly recognized Don Wells. She had gone to a nursing school on Honiara in the 1970s, and while there, she had often seen reruns of Gilligan's Island. Dawn said she gets recognized almost everywhere she goes, and she credits all her success and fame to the memorable character of Marianne. However, Dawn wasn't the only choice for the role. It's believed that Raquel Welsh also auditioned for the role of Marianne. Dawn, however, is unaware of this. Though she's of the opinion that if Raquel Welsh indeed auditioned for Gilligan's Island, she would have been a better fit for the role of Ginger than Marianne. After all, Raquel was a beautiful sex symbol in real life, and so was Ginger on the show. Though Tina Louise, who played Ginger, and Don Wells were cordial on the set, they've not stayed in touch over the years, even though the two are the only living members of the cast. Don says after the show ended, Louise decided to do her own thing and did not maintain any communication with any of the cast members. Don remembers doing a play in New York for which she had invited Louise, but when she never made an appearance, Wells realized maybe she didn't want anything to do with her. Though they are not in touch, and even after all the pitting against each other they've undergone since the beginning of the show, Dawn does have some fond memories of working with Louise. She remembers the time when Louise had recently gotten married and, like her on-screen character, knew nothing about cooking. So she asked Wells to help her with the Thanksgiving dinner. Dawn invited Louise to her house, and she remembers Louise sitting on a cooking stool with her mom, reading and discussing recipes and writing everything down. Years later, when Wells ran into Caprice, Louise's daughter, she was surprised to know that Louise had told her daughter all about their Thanksgiving dinner. When we look back, it's hard to believe that it's been over 50 years since the last episode of Gilligan's Island aired on CBS. In the show, Tina Louise played the role of the glamorous Ginger Grant, a movie star and a breathy sex symbol, and Don Wells played Marianne, the beautiful, chirpy, caring girl next door. Given the way Grant's character was written, the writers took it for granted she would eventually become TV's ultimate sex icon. Surprisingly, for the years of the show's run and many years after that, more men have found themselves attracted to Marianne than Ginger. While both actresses were equally beautiful, Marianne always won the popularity. Why? The popularity of Marianne in some ways signifies that Americans prefer the simple girl next door to a glamour goddess. Gilligan's Island may not be as popular as some of the other shows of its time. However, it's certainly become a part of American culture owing to its memorable characters. Don Wells, at least, credits the show for most of her success. After the show ended, Wells continued with her acting career, but she will always be remembered as the lovable Mary Ann from Gilligan's Island. So, do you find Mary Ann sexy, or are you part of the Ginger Grant Club? Let us know in the comments section so we can settle this debate once and for all. But more importantly, before you go anywhere, make sure you subscribe to Facts First to see more videos like this.